What's up, everyone? Let's have a little conversation and talk about something that I don't really talk about very often, but I thought it was very interesting and want to get your thoughts because this is a show that I used to watch. And so I know these people or most of them from the show. So from the Real Housewives of New Jersey, one of the former housewives, Dina Manzo, she has an ex-husband who is brothers with one of the also former Real Housewives of New Jersey housewives, Caroline Manzel. So Dina Manzel's ex-husband and Caroline Manzel's husband are brothers. Dina Manzel is no longer married to this guy, but it is reported that he hired a hitman to attack her current husband, David Canton. So prosecutors are claiming that he hired a man who is the member of a crime family to track down her husband in 2015. And in exchange for the job being done, he promised to give a discounted wedding reception at one of the venues that he owns. Now, the Brownstone is known from the show because they own this this event center that's called the Brownstone where a lot of big time weddings and parties and and different things like that were, it was rented out for that. Well, Caroline Manzo, she's speaking out about it. And they already, the last time I heard, were not on speaking terms. So now I'm thinking back and wondering, did Dina Manzo stop talking to Caroline Manzo because of the things that were going on with her ex-husband and Caroline Manzo is still married to her husband who is brothers with Dina Manzo's ex-husband. So maybe she stopped talking to her sister because of that and she knew some things and was just trying to protect her safety. Well, Caroline Manzo is speaking out about it, about Thomas, who is the ex-husband of Dina and allegedly hiring a hitman to assault her new husband. So Caroline spoke to Extra about it and Thomas Manzo has been arrested and has a criminal indictment. Caroline is saying she's heartbroken and she is married to... Albert Manzo III. She said, this is family on both sides. I want to know the truth and my allegiance will always lie with the truth. And she also said, we don't run from things like this. We address them. And I feel comfortable with that because we are being painted with a brush that does not reflect who we are as people. But I remember in the first season of the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Somebody who was a viewer of the show because Andy Cohen would read questions that viewers would ask. And one of the people who sent in a question did ask the question about them having ties to the mafia. And, you know, Caroline denied it. And she said, no, that's not true. Nothing like that is true. And there were some things that were reported back then where it just made you cringe and say, oh my God, like this is, this is some heavy duty stuff. And it was allegations about things similar to this. And that was many years ago. I mean, that was well over 10 years ago when that stuff was reported. So for Caroline Manzo to say that she doesn't really know, you know, what's happened, she's you know, she has family on both sides and she's on the side of where the truth lies. It makes me wonder, like, you must really not like your sister too much because I don't think that the police would have arrested him on these charges if they did not have 
credible information to say that this actually happened. It's being reported that John tracked down Dina's current man, David, to a strip mall in New Jersey where he attacked him with a slapjack. And John is the guy that was hired by the, the ex-husband. Thomas is facing charges of committing a violent crime in aid of racketeering activity and conspiracy to commit a violent crime in aid of racketeering activity. And he's facing a maximum potential sentence of 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine if convicted. Now, Dina's ex-husband has pled not guilty to all of the charges and he's had a bond set of $100,000 and if he is released, he'll have to surrender his passport. Now the attorney for the charge is saying that the allegations sounds like a reality TV plot. It's totally false. And Dina Manzo hasn't been on reality TV in years. And I don't think that they would go to these extremes to try to get back on television. I really don't think that Dina Manzo wants to have anything to do with it because when she was on the first season and she was married to this guy, they never showed him on television. And she, I remember she even said that. She said that he doesn't ever wanna be seen on television. So even back then, it just made you wonder and think, well, why not? What does he have to hide? And then there were the allegations about him being connected to the mob. So now it just... It just makes you wonder and it makes you think. So I don't know what you guys think. You let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Do you think Caroline Manzo is just trying to save face because she's still married to the brother who's been charged with these crimes to attack her sister's current husband? Or, you know, just let me know what else you think about this crazy situation. It really is intense and I'm sorry. I feel like there's more that Caroline Mantle knows. And it almost makes it seem like that brownstone is just a cover for crimes. Who knows? But you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. And this is the Minister of Beauty. Thank you so much for listening to this episode and liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing and supporting the podcast by clicking the links in the description box. So I'm here to share the Bible. That's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. And until the next episode, have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.